Good morning and welcome to Morning Matters. This morning we are in Spanish Lookout. Not any place in Spanish Lookout though. We are at New Buildings Limited. With me this morning I have Mr. Rempel. Mr. Rempel, good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm good. How are you? I am well. You know, I always like coming to Spanish Lookout. It's like I've gone somewhere when I come here, you know. Well, it's a place to go for, your, for a lot of your things that you need. You know, it's nice and clean and spacious. Um, tell me a little bit about New Buildings. Well, um, we started, of course, small as, as normally businesses do uh, back in 1998. So we we're about 17 years on the wheels. And so um, uh, there was this necessity of uh, someone to fabricate and erect steel frame buildings. <clears throat> and uh, some people that we knew, some supplier of steel that we had, uh, they, they uh, recommended us to, to start and we did. And so since then we've been taking up jobs. Um, we've had slow seasons and good seasons where we had more than we could do. But in general, we pulled through and um, here we are uh, continuing to do the same. And, and um, of course, getting better in quality and, and timing and, and, and everything. Tell me a little bit about some of the details uh, where your business is concerned. What exactly do you do? Um, is it just for commercial? Is it for commercial and for uh, residential? Is it a combination of both? Um, because somebody that might be watching might say, you know, it looks like a good idea, but I don't know if they'll make a little place 20 by 20. Um, really, we can, do, we can do any size. Okay. Uh, as long as it's uh, worthwhile and, and we get paid for it, we can do any size, small, big. Uh, we find ourselves, in the, in, if I should say, our comfortable level is more in the commercial area. Um, say um, warehousing, which is kind of uh, straightforward buildings and, and then don't matter the square footage, I mean bigger. But we always say the bigger the better. So Very it's worthwhile good. starting the job. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but then again, like I said, sometimes you have to shine your shoe for somebody to get his executive. So uh, <laughs> that's what we do too. We do small jobs to get bigger ones. and. And if somebody comes up with a big one to start off with, we do that too. All but right. yes, we can do we can do small ones, we can do big ones. What separates you from the other businesses or the other companies in similar business? Uh, because we know you erect metal structures, but um, there are other places that also do that kind of work. Uh, why should somebody choose new buildings as opposed to any other company? Well, um, I should say we're we're very committed to our work. Um, and we really try to understand the client, what they want, from what angle they're coming from, and how they want it. To be sensitive to, to uh, their specific uh, needs, and then to try to accommodate that. Um, you know, you can, you can build, uh, sometimes you can build light and you can build heavy, and to sense that, to, not to scare them with prices, but not to give them low price and later they expect to have something better. So we try to draw the fine line in there and simply just to, to, be, um, to be committed to the work. And once we do get to work with somebody, um, do what we promise to do. And, and we, we believe in, in, in that, that that's a, a thing that takes us through and that uh, customers can, um, can depend on. We see a lot of metal structures that are erected in this country uh, for somebody that lives in this country that might say, you know, I'd like to know, tell me one or two that you put up that's really, really nice that I can just see because some of us can't imagine we'd have to see it to say, oh, I would want one like that. Um, if it's only warehousing, you can see the structures the way they are. When you come into the cemetery road for the Indian people, the store people that have a lot of uh, bigger warehouses there and uh, just getting to cemetery we did a lot of those like the hundred foot spans and if you want to see one that's already covered up it's like full tech system the three-story office building where they where it's, it's been there for well over 10 years we did that one and and but that's in belize city and, and like that i could with time i could uh, recall a lot of them that we did out there that are nice big structures that we did and we supplied all the steel for for let's say the, the big uh, seven-story building that Penny says oh, on wow. the Northern Highway. We, we didn't do the, the initial building, but we did all the floor structuring, which is a lot of steel that went in there. We, we put that up for them. Besides uh, the erection of 
metal structures. What else do you do here? There's two things that we specialize in here at New Buildings, and that would be the second one would be the cranes uh, lifting solutions, um, and we call that as a, as an affiliate or no, it's not an affiliate. It's a, it's actually in the same company, but we just give it a name and be crane, and and so it's uh, it's one of our own things that we do too. Uh, we have two large cranes, um, 65 and 50 tons, that are that are uh, available to go anywhere in the country to lift. And we do a lot of container lifting, and we have also done a lot of work for the Belize Natural Energy. And then we have like telehandlers, we have uh, man lift, we have uh, uh, various equipment in that sense to to be there for any lifting solution as well. When you, um, I would imagine that when you provide these equipment to provide drivers as well or operators as well because absolutely okay absolutely yeah we uh, you know crane I would say uh, to build a structure to, to do a steel structure anybody can do it as long as you can make a business out of it uh, a crane as well but then in a crane you can't just put any anybody in it's uh, you have to have an operator that knows what he's doing it can be very dangerous it is but you have to know how to do it so so you prevent uh, things from happening. So no in cranes, you don't put anybody just, okay, today I'll have to find, tomorrow I'll have to get a, get a new driver and I'll just put him in there. No. You can't do that. You train them first? Well, yeah, it's train. hands on training. We do the work, we take them along, we have them see and feel what we're doing and then they take over eventually when we see that they have, they have uh, enough, uh, they have learned enough so they can continue from there. Yeah. Mr. Rampel, do you also offer services outside of the country? Because we're seen in 13 of the Caribbean countries and um, I'm sure that sometimes, you know, they might want something but they might know where to go to get it. And you are so close. Well, yeah. yes, I, uh, we can do projects abroad, um, either either just managing them and in and, and some cases you might even just hire local local people there to do some of the work. but. But yeah, we would have the capacity to, to also do projects abroad. Um, as I said, we haven't really done that yet, but uh, the, uh, we would have the capacity to do that. Where can people find you in the event they want to make use of your service? You can call uh, me directly at 615-6200 or 670-5185. Uh, you can email me at frank.newbuildings at gmail.com. And, and also you can come and visit us here at the office at. Uh, Three quarter miles, Iguana Creek uh, Road, Spanish Lookout, to uh, to visit us and, and talk directly to us and tell us what you need. That's right. You see the numbers on the screen and the address as well for new building supplies. So if you need anything that has to do with all the things that this good gentleman has just spoken about, you definitely know where to go. Anything else that you'd like to add? Well, I'd just like to address again that, like I said before, we, we now uh, for a while have been doing what we call complete packages projects where we start um, from conception to completion. Uh, we take care of engineering, we take care of, 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 of doing the plans, uh, the architectural work, uh, getting, getting them approved and, and, and getting the job done. Uh, we have a few uh, things that we have, they're not directly uh, as new buildings, but uh, that I, that we work together uh, with uh, myself included, uh, being part owners of it, as we have uh, the polyurethane insulation equipment to uh, spray, um, to foam spray your um, your building, uh, and it's also it's a, an industrial machine. It's a, it's a, we have it mounted in an enclosed trailer, and it it uh, it's to insulate. It's a sound barrier. It's all, and also, of course, uh, it has uh, it insulates from the heat. Uh, so we do complete storage buildings, or or even cold storage. We do. Uh, we have we do standing seam roofing, which is a roof system that has no no screws through the metal. So it's a it's a proof no leak system that we do as well. Uh, sandblasting and and so those ty those type of things we we have added to the to the whole group and to the whole. Um, working process so we can accommodate much more and detail every work that is required. So now when you come you don't have to look for anybody to insulate it. When you build it you can insulate it if it needs to be insulated. Absolutely. If the steel is starting to rust off you can sandblast and make it new again. Absolutely. It's a one-stop shop right here at New Buildings. We encourage you to give them a call at 615 6200 6200 or 670 5185. There you go. Those are the numbers in which you can use to 
call New Building Supplies if you are outside the country you have to remember to put the country code in front of it which is 501 so it's 501 615 5200 6200 6200 <laughs> or 6501670 5185 there you go now anything else you'd like to leave us with before we go this morning well just post it and let the people come <laughs> let the clients come that's right you know and um we noticed that in this day and age you need to build better and stronger and much more attractive people like attractive things and you can provide that for them as well all comes at a cost, but we can do it. I like everything else. But you know, sometimes, I mean, the design, what it looks like, it's probably not going to be... I mean, you can build a building that's four corners, and it's going to cost you a dollar. Absolutely. But you can build something that has a little bit more design, and it might still just cost you a dollar. Absolutely. So it depends on what it is that you want. Yeah, and that's, uh, as I said before, that's, that's one of the things that we take pride in. Uh, when we um, have a client before us, and we tell, we tell the client, this is what we're going to build the building for, uh, from, and this is the rigidity for say that you'll get um, and we give price accordingly we will give that to the client and whereas you will sometimes have the competition they'll say oh you know the other company is doing it for so much less um, well you know find out what it's made of and, and 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 we don't take pride in ourselves as being the cheapest option but we take pride in ourselves as being as giving the client what we have promised to give that's and that's what while you might not be the cheapest option, you might be the best option because you get the value for your dollar. I would want to say that. There you go. Guys, what we're going to do, I'll have to say, Frank, thank you for stopping in this morning. Thank you for educating us. Well, thank, thank you for you having me. to keep Belize beautiful because if you look at these beautiful structures, you keep the country looking good. Absolutely. All right, so guys, what we're going to do, we're going to take a break. And